Exposed the closure of a Denny's in Lithonia following a wild CBS 46 confrontation over health violations. Now we're learning that the franchisee also shut down another restaurant in town. We're Adam Murphy tonight searching for answers from that restaurant's owner. On scenic highway in Snellville, America's Diner is abandoned. Well, I mean, it was a nice uh, Denny's. I enjoyed it. Um, I didn't know it was having problems until I actually was exposed. It's the second Denny's store we've reported on in as many days, which has shut down. The other one on Panola Road in Lithonia. You don't get your stuff together, that's what happened to you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Management did not have their stuff together seven months ago when employees at the Lithonia store took jabs at our camera while being questioned about a failing health inspection involving expired food. Wow, wow, wow. That's not how you really act, you know, um, especially when um, you own a business like that. Denny's corporate office confirmed the franchise owner of the two locations closed due to financial reasons. According to county records and this Denny's corporate video, I'm a football player now I'm in the business. The franchisee was Donnell Thompson, a former NFL player. Sad to see them go. They could have actually fixed it. Uh, because at Denny's, uh, I mean, it's hard to find one. The closest one is over there in Jimmy Carter. You don't treat customers like that. You, you treat people the way you want to be treated. CBS 46 has made multiple attempts to reach the franchisee to no avail. That said, Denny's corporate office told us they have no information on future plans for any of the stores which have closed. In Snellville, Adam Murphy, CBS 46 News.